hello there very excited today guys how are you today and how are you doing i hope you are ready to watch a good little quick wi-fi battle i had this uh quick ou battle and this is the number one video first video for ultra sun ultra moon i do have ultra sun and the team i'm using is actually my party team that i beat the game with so shout out to the captain there low punny and my starter nabby aka Liddy went to Incineroar. I really don't like Incineroar, but you know, I don't know. It was actually a good playthrough I had with him, so it made me respect him a little bit more. So I'm gonna start off this battle with my Electivire. My Electivire was one of my uh, special mods during my playthrough. So I was uh, I was happy to have him there. So I'm gonna vote switch his, uh, in his he's gonna lead off with Clefable. So I'm gonna vote switch to Clefable and get in my fortress and I, I mean, Clefables really do really uh, like naturally have or usually have flamethrower or like some, or flamethrower, flamethrower like calm mind and stuff like that. But for some reason I just didn't think he would have it. So he ends up just flamethrower my fortress and ends up knocking me out. As I bring in my low punny, I'm gonna go ahead and make it evolve it as he bring in his Celesteela. And I'm gonna go ahead and go straight for the return. I didn't want to go for the fake out just because I knew I can get a whole bunch of damage off. And usually people want to switch out. Like for some reason, a lot of people switch out when they face my low punny like first turns. I'm not sure why. So I usually just end up going for the return and getting a whole lot more damage off rather than going for a fake out. And actually, this is funny. On this low punny, I couldn't get fake out just because it's my my playthrough uh, Buneri that I caught. So. Fake out being an egg move, I actually don't have fake out anyway, so maybe he thought I did because I didn't really tell him it was my party team. But so I end up uh, having my Electivire in. He, he brings up his Naga Nadel. I love that thing. Naga Nadel is so uh, very, so cold. Very, such a beast. Everyone says it's broken, but I'm not really sure. I think it's, I think it's broke as hell, actually. But um, it's very beastly though, and I like using it. He helped me through it. I would have never beat Team Rocket Rainbow. Like, did you did you play Team Rocket Rainbow and actually get through that handily? Because that was very hard. I had a tough time. I had a very tough time. It took over two hours. That and the Ghost Trial. That and the Ghost Trial. I did just get done with the entire game. I'm catching legendaries now, but that's pretty much it as far as that regard. So yeah, um, he's gonna bring in Naga Nadel. His his is shiny. My Naga Nadel is the uh, the standard one you get within the game. So mine is not shiny. I wish I had a shiny Naga Nadel. I might work on getting that soon. So he's gonna um, actually knock out my Electivire. I'm gonna bring in my uh, Ori 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 Yo. I love this mod. Like during my story, I had the fire one most of the time because you couldn't really unlock this version of Oricorio until after you beat the Elite Four. So yeah, this is my favorite version though. So after I unlock this version, that's who I beat Team Rocket Rainbow with. I did, a, I, I mean, I caused a lot of havoc with this version of Oricorio. As you can see here, I end up two hit KOing the Mew as I go for my Revelation Dance. And I'm not sure why he, he switched in that Mew at that point. I mean, there was a lot going on in this battle, during the battle. And this Celesteela was pretty much the main thing that was stopping me throughout the battle. So I'm going to bring in my Incineroar. He's going to bring in his Keldeo and double out into Valcarona. Not sure why he did that, but I'm going to end up switching out here into my Oricorio back into it. So he's going to go for a straight up Fire Blast. He's going to do a whole bunch of damage, even burn me. So I'm just going to go for the Air Slash. And my Oricorio now has Hurricane. I've actually updated my, my party team a bit more just because they're, they're in uh, high level 90s and I'm trying to get them all to level 100s. Yep, these this team was all caught within the game. Uh, I'm even EV training them, you know, you know like, uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm more into breeding a little bit more now, like I was ginning a lot there at the end of Sunday Moon, but um, now I'm playing through this game, it made me want to play it a lot more, like actually get into the game. Like if you play that, uh, that photo album shop part, that was actually pretty good, I actually like that a lot. So, yeah, so I'm going to bring in my own Naga Dale, my uh, Screecher, and he's going to um, have his... Clefable, and I'm gonna go hold. I'm gonna go for a sludge wave and actually knock it out. So down goes Clefable, 
and I'm not knocking the Dell is gonna get a beast boost speed boost mind is max timid well no 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 this is actually my playthrough one so I believe it's some random nature but when I do make my sets I'm gonna end up having my Naga the Dell be a timid nature so we can get that speed boost some people gonna be running modest I'm not sure why I'm not sure. I would just want more speed on it because it's kind of frail and not going to take too many hits, but it probably can take one of being a dragon type that has so many resistances anyway. So I'm going to have my center out here, my Nabi. If you didn't know, Nabi is the Japanese name of Litten in the anime, so I did name my Lit Nabi. And I actually didn't evolve it into a Tora Cat to a level 49. And then I didn't evolve it into Incineroar, and I wasn't going to do it at all, but I ended up doing it at level 90 just because, like, I just felt like it was time just to make, just, just to complete my team, pretty much, as we get to level 100. So my Nagana Dell is going to come out here, and I'm going to um, be head up with this Celesteela here, and I'm actually going to be able to hit it with a Flamethrower, and if you look at that, that is beastly. That is power. That is raw power from Naga Nadell right there. Flamethrower is just knocking out Celesteela. I mean, my Celesteelas are usually max HP, max special defense. So I'm thinking that that's what he is was. So we can probably survive that. But I guess not. I'm not sure. But my Naga Nadell straight knocks that thing out. And as he brings us his own Naga Nadell, I'm going to go for the Draco Meteor and knock that thing out. So with that being said, he's going to bring out his Keldeo. And this is actually, if you want to go uh, rewatch this battle, it's actually a uh, very good battle. I'm just so excited about the game and playing the game. Ultra, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, very good game. Like, I love playing the game. I just love walking around and exploring Alola. It's like one of one of my favorite things to do right now. So I mean, I'm going to end this battle off uh, with the with the devastating Drake. Shout out to the new animation, like the, like the, like the fonts there. They're pretty cool. They're... They're like really, really very cool and very tight. So shout out to Midnight over there. Met him on Six Foot Hacks Discord. Shout out to Six Foot Hacks. I had a 53 turn battle against that guy recently and it was very bad. I was using a Specs Naganadel at that time. So, but other than that, yep, this is video number one. Video number one, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. And we're gonna get more battles in as time goes on and stuff like that. So at this point, Goodbye. See ya. See ya next time. Thank you.